<laughs> All right, I shouldn't get too excited. There's water spraying everywhere. I'm an idiot. Oh my goodness, you're such a dork. I'll do it right in front of the Fairlight, so the spray goes directly inside. Oh, it broke. Hi guys, welcome to the next episode. Now, I wanna go straight ahead and say, there is no synthesizery things in this one. It's literally me figuring out how to do screen printing to make the front uh, panel of the Fairlight, right? So, it's kinda like if you watch a car restoration video and then when it gets to painting it and detailing it, you're like, ah, I'm done, he's done the engine. Um, but that's where we're at. But, there is more to come and there's more reasons why. Um, that the screen printing thing isn't the end. Ooh, what could it be? All right, um, enjoy the episode. Cheers. Okay, so we've got, um, I'm trying a couple of different things. I've got the screen printing kit, and I'm probably gonna go that route. That's really what it feels like, but I had to make a um, executive decision uh, to make the uh, graphics a little bit smaller so that it fits, oops, so that it fits onto um, the size of screen print that I have. So if you look, this is the original one, this is the real thing. And then um, this is the screen print. This is the graphics. Ta-da, on the sheet of acetate. And as you can see, it lines up really well. But this is the size of my screen printing kit. And this is the size that I have to make it fit within. So you can see this here. I had to actually scoot along. Let me bring it closer. I had to scoot it along from the original size to being a little bit further along. And I think this looks okay. It's funny, when you look at it on uh, a blank thing, it looks fine. So it doesn't bother me. But I did think, well, maybe I could get some of this stuff here, this thin line to actually go along. But as you can see, it's just not the same. Um, I've tried it here and uh, as a little test, I was gonna do just this next one here. Um, but I can already see it looks it looks way too thick and it obviously it won't look screen printed on and if I just do that there try and approximate oops there it's too thick it just looks too thick and clumsy kind of and it doesn't look all right so this is a bust this isn't gonna work so I'm gonna go with this shorter, smaller size, and I'm gonna um, screen print it on this. I'll remove this for now, as it's not gonna work. So now what I need to do is make my screen print. So let's clean this area up, and let's get ready to do that. Cool. Get this from Easy Screen, silk screen stencil people. All right, we're gonna be doing a test with the Easy Print. The Easy Screen Print system was great. Simple, instructions were clear, and even though my abilities weren't very good, it was totally fine. Place the artwork face up on the clear part of the exposure unit, clean board, bonk, done that. Before I did the main image, I decided to do a small test on a small square. Okay, one minute is done. Okay, I, I gotta jump in here for a little second. The next thing that you're gonna see is probably the most unbelievably dumb thing I've ever done. Now, all's well that ends well, but it's unbelievable my my push to get something done without literally seeing what's around me and not having the awareness limit. My focus is like this, like a blind, folded, blinkered horse, right? And, and to not understand what on earth I was doing at that moment and that the, the need for me to stop and go, wait a minute, what am I doing? That didn't happen. Proceed. What on earth are you doing, Blythe? This is a bad idea. There's water spraying everywhere. I'm an idiot. 
Oh my god! Stop, 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 stop. This is ridiculous. It's literally getting wet. Oh my goodness, you're such a dork. Good lord. I sometimes am amazed at how... I just need to slow down sometimes. I'm just an idiot. All right. How about I do this somewhere else? Good lord. Okay. Or just do it at a different angle. Look at that. The non-spraying directly towards the fair light angle might be the good idea. I'm now dripping water on the mains cables and the extension plug that's down below. And this table isn't flat, so it's not even going to be the right place to do this. It's probably got enough though. Alright. Okay, instructions. I've now just read the first instruction. It said, work in a dimly lit room. Okay. Remove the easy screen from the explosion and sit submerged in a container filled with tap water for a minimum of 15 minutes. A ghost image will appear. I can see the ghost image already. So I will put that in there. Submerged. Consider yourself submerged. All right, uh, 15 minutes, let's get the timer going. Where's my watch? Patience is needed. Patience is needed. <laughs> Do they even know me? They don't know. But I will, I'll do it on an angle. I'll do it right in front of the fair light so the spray goes directly inside. Looks good. Right, that's a test. That was one minute. Oh, wow. Oh, it's great. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, this looks good. Alrighty, so, um, this turned out really well. I baked it in the sun and did this little test. Wonderful. Uh, rinsed it out, it came out really, really well. I don't know if you can see that, but it is just come out wonderful. Now that was in the sun for one minute. That's the emulsion side, right? And now I'm going to do a little test um, where I just take this down and pop it in a bit of paper. But I could just do a test on an actual, the actual metal. Do it. That's what we're going to do. Because you know what? It is just a bit of metal test. So let's move this. Ooh. <laughs> I've got a dull side and a shiny side. Let's just give it a wee clean. Okay. And let's put it just at one edge over here. Ah, wait a minute. I might need to think about this more smartly. Instead of in the corners, don't I need it like as a hinge? Now I can do that. Right. And I'll probably just need a tiny little bit of ink for this. That look like enough? I think that's enough. Okay. Now I think the technique <laughs> goes that you load it up first and then you do a squeegee. So loading is like you go just Now I'm going to actually do the proper thing. It looked like it worked. Let's peel it away and see what happens. I've never done it on metal before, so who knows? Well, that's a good test because it's bleeding. 
that's that's not so do you know what I am gonna do I am gonna do a test on paper I may as well just to see if the silk screens right all right that's what we're gonna do this time we're just gonna do it quickly with a lot less ink I'm just gonna use the ink that's on there and just go ah. nope I need a bit more no right I want to see what that looks like and that's not enough ink but I'm going to start getting messy here. I can feel it. And I'm just going to go along once. Wow, okay. That's interesting. So here was just some real experimentation. Trying different amounts of ink, trying different amounts of pressure to see which one gave us the cleanest result. Is that how it's done? Wow. Nope. I want to see if I, if I do this and I just touch that, it, does it leave ink behind? No. Alright, that's not so bad. Right? Get another blue bit of tape. You have more. This one has ink on it. Oh, and I just dropped it right in the ink. That's good. Okay. Make sure that this is going to be in the right area. So was that too hard? Yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I think now that it feels like it's squished out through the sides. So if I was to do this again, still have the same issue. Multiple light strokes technique. Oh, that's interesting. It's much better. I guess this is the this is the practice part of the practice mix perfect. Right, let's get more bits of paper and keep on going. So, I'll speed over this, but, but basically, I did a lot of tests. Wow. Okay, that's the best result yet. So, hardly any pressure. That was the simplest one yet. Wow, great. Oops, <laughs> I managed to smudge the other one. All right. Full size screen print. Testing time. So, the actual screen printing, I did something really funny. I, I bought a squeegee, which um, is interesting because my dad was a screen printer and an artist, and I grew up around these, and it just was kind of odd just buying it. And then we are going to um, expose the full sheet. Oh, this part I need to do without that light, because that's a UV light. That's not going to be good. Um, work on a dim lighter in room. Done. If required, cut the screen to size. No. Make sure you have these borders. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Place on the face up on the part you're exposing it. Protective backing from stencil. Aha. Okay. Place shiny side face down on your artwork. Position black exposure board on top left. Top felt side facing stencil. Okay. Next. Right. Okay. We're gonna go outside. Let's do it. Ah. I missed it. I missed the window. Balls. All right. Well, I'll screw that up. figuring out that you can use a bottle instead of spraying directly inside the fair light with a hose. Hey, 15 minutes. I'm gonna cover this up for that time. Is this gonna be big enough? 
wow, I need more space. All right. Jeez, I just, I'm really, you know. All right. You come up there. Is this going to be big enough? Yes, perfect. Of course. All right. 15 minutes it is. Bonk. Timer's done. All right, gonna have to pause you guys. Okay, what's the next step? <laughs> Where's my glasses? There we go. Then this next step, I believe, we put this on this mesh part thing. Is that right? Um, oh, an image has appeared. It is not in the water. Hmm. You can actually see the uh, some of the residue coming off right now. Alrighty, let's go. This doesn't look bad at all, although these thinner lines look a little bit funny. So I'm going to check under the microscope. are about the thickness of the mesh. Yeah, you know what? I might have to modify the design. Alrighty, I've done enough gentle brushing that I can see that I can't do much more without losing details. So now I'm going to, uh, this one's very wet, I'm going to just dry off. And the sun is kind of gone, but at least I'll give it a bit of sunlight before the sun goes. Let's do that. Let's go. That's fun. This isn't sunny enough to bake it, so I'm gonna do it and then maybe bake it tomorrow, but I won't be doing any screen printing tonight. What I'll do is more screen printing with the other test to see, to get better at that. I think this is actually pretty good. <laughs> Look at it. Beep boop. This goes up like that, comes down, so I've chopped up these little bits of paper and then so I'll just go in, down, I'll have the ink and I'll go zoink back and I'll see what it looks like and then we'll move on from there. You load it. Oh, you know what? The millimeter difference between the top and bottom is actually making a difference. Okay, lots of learnings there. To clean my squeegee too. Ooh. So I have to admit, this has been fun learning about the silk screening part. And you know, to be honest, the, these ones have come out pretty good. That's as clean as a whistle. The lines at the edge, I'm using the entire area of the screen and I don't have any border for any safety. So where I'm masking the edge is gonna give that little lip I don't think that this, even though technically it will work, I think being so close to the edge, I'll have to put tape right there, which gives it a lip. And I think the squeegee won't get in there. You need that space to kind of go over it. So I can try printing it in two parts where I tape off the edges here and I only do the middle part, junk. And then the other part would be I do the, the Fairlight part and then find a way of doing the, the next part with black ink or um, with a pen of some sort. That might be the way to do it. But it has taken time. I really feel the safe bet is going to be I take this to a company that does screen printing and we screen print it on that and then I, then I finish it with a satin. That's what I really feel is going to happen. My brain literally just wants to put it together now and put the screws in and put the thing in and put the nut dressings on and do the whole thing and put it on there. And that's my brain. This part has taken weeks, it feels like. Oh, guess what? It hasn't. It's months. <laughs> so the winds have really been kind of taken at my sails at this point. I've worked really hard. I've done all these tests. 
I'd gone down this road that I really thought was going to be right. I even thought that my screen printing dad would help me from the heavens, but it didn't work out. And um, it wasn't the right choice to go down that road. Um, <laughs> but at that point, I did have a sneaky little thought, a little chip right. that I could do to cheer myself up. <laughs> this is not the final thing. This is just to really just perhaps make me get a move on. Oh, wow. It's got this weird glossy thing on the front, but um, that's all right. <laughs> this feels much better than it should. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> it's weird, but it's got this plastic thing there, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not hating it for some reason. <laughs> it's weird, right? But it's also cool. Okay, now what I have to do, because I'm going to do this of course now, is put these little nuts and things back in, because, um, because yes, because this is happening. Is this happening? I think it's happening. Guys and girls. I don't know. It's looking kind of cool. <laughs> oh, it broke. Wow, it's really weak. Huh. Okay. Do I have another one? Yes. All right. I have another, so they're ha! All right, let's do it. This is the... <laughs> okay, I have to print out another one. Look what I've done. I've printed out the wrong one. I've printed out the... It's another right hand hinge, look. <laughs> it's facing forward. I just didn't look, look. It's facing that way. It needs to be facing like that. That's gonna take a wee while to print out. I wanna just see what this looks like in there. because it's got, um, those cables are really pushing forward. That's why they have three mil cable, I guess. Three mil, uh, or is it an eighth? It's an eighth. But that's what it's gonna look like. Build up some static so it stays on there. <laughs> All right, I shouldn't get too excited. Um, but I kinda, it, I kinda went silent when I did it. I was like, oh, it's real. But there was certain, and then obviously I broke the I broke the stupid thing putting it in because it, it it's too brittle. It was over baked and it was just super brittle. I need to just cook it a little bit less. Um, I actually left it in overnight, which is really silly. And it was really hard. I didn't realize how brittle it was. It didn't take any pressure at all to break it. But seeing it in there with the with the top latches and one of them in there, it's kind of looking good. <laughs> Look at that. That's a machine. That's now a machine. That is that is definitely now a machine there. Yeah, I know my hair looks crazy. I didn't think I was gonna be filming. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night. So after the success of my acetate sheet cheat in front, um, the next morning I got a hair up my butt and um, got on to fixing the bowing 
of the uh, front plate. It's only two millimeters thick instead of three mil, but it shows you with a little bit of progress how it can inspire you. I really wish we could have used these, which are from the Fairlight. Um, they were in there, but they're literally just, just too short. So I went and spent $2.70 and picked up some aluminium. When I say that, I say aluminium, not aluminum. There's U's and I's and U's and M's and silent Z's, Z's. Let's just, um, maybe the washer will cover it, but I want to just sand it a little bit. Okay, so seeing that this panel is only two millimeters, actually 1.5 thick, I, I looked at it, it's, it's not thick. Um, I put this little, uh, this already had holes in the bottom, so I thought I'd put them to good use by putting a little bracket, a little L-shaped thing, which will stop it hopefully from flexing at the bottom when the, the, the cables that are at the back over there kind of push their way forward. Um, in some ways, um, it would be good if there was another three holes at the top, but I think that's, this is going in line with uh, everything at the bottom there, so I'm, I'm hoping that that's going to be enough to stop it from flexing. It may flex a bit at the top, but it's really helped its rigidity. I have to admit, I, I think this looks... I like this. <laughs> There's something about the, the, the shininess on the inside there. You can't, can I see it? I'll, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, it kind of gives it away, but at the same time it's like, oh, that's different. But you know what? I think it's about having more, we've got too much different. It's about having more of the same. All right, <laughs> this is better than I expected. As you can see in the bottom here, it is, it is basically flat. I've not got the other hinge. I've printed it out. I need to actually go and get it cured and stuff. But as you can see, the bottom part is now totally flat. And the top part is not actually bad. I, I wonder if, like, if this is gonna get held by that. But at the bottom, it's totally flush. Look at that. What would happen if I switch it on? <laughs> and let's just make sure everything's good. It's been a while. Are you ready? This is gonna be the first time this machine's been switched on. Make sure they're on hot run. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> wow! All righty! <laughs> wow, that's real. That's not real! That's absolutely it! <laughs> Wow. Wow, it's even quieter as well because it's covered up. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Does the keyboard work? It does. Guys, ladies, gentlemen. <laughs> I know it's not screen printed yet. I, I, I know it's, there's still some work to do. Wow. Okay. Let's just do this then. This is a bit of a deal. Do need to put his little ears on. I think I've got to do that. That's a machine right there. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Here's a Fairlight CMI. 
with the lid on the front, it makes such a difference. It's like it's a... It's real. Oh, let's just um, do that and then just let's load that. And it's loading from the little hard drive that's inside there. I'm going to go to Wave Edit. Wow. All right, there's still more to do. Screen printing has still got to be done. This is a plastic sticker that's sticking on the front here. But it, it, it kind of, when you put it there, it looks, it's amazing. And the other one is just, it's finished printing. I'm going to bake it and put it on there. It's nothing holding this one on, but we'll get there. All right. All right, that was really good. Really good feeling, but it does lead you into a false sense of completion because I haven't actually made the front plate. I made a, a sticker that sits on the front and it's not really done. We've still actually got that to do. So don't get any ideas. We've actually got a lot of stuff to get done. However, there is no screen printing in our future, but there are lasers. And I don't want to jump the gun, but the results are satisfying. I'm attempting to give it down to one episode, which is a bit bonkers because the source material was like 12 hours. Right now, there's only six voices. The proper CMI can do 16 voices, so I need a whole bunch more cards. But my good friend Peter from Australia land is going to help me out there. But that's not so simple either. There's a whole bunch of mods that I need to do to make these cards work. And it involves cutting ICs, drilling holes through boards, lots of soldering, still soldering, and uh, lots of other problems that happen along the way. We've also got to get these two separate boxes and get them working inside a rack unit. There's also things we're going to revisit, and without saying too much, there's going to be things that are being manufactured also. But even that doesn't go according to plan. Like the basic idea of me being able to count to six, and things happen, therefore. And for the eagle-eyed of you looking to the side here, you may have noticed that there are actually other projects coming along too. So there's a lot more to do. And on the next one, it's all freaking lasers.